You're asking me to marry you? 100%. Why did you clear your throat when I called you? I was thinking really dirty thoughts. I've pretty much been thinking about blowing my inside of you nonstop. Because I literally could not control myself. I super love my wife. I have no intentions of speaking to them out of character. We're not the same. I am the GOAT. I literally cannot stop thinking about you. <laughs> Why are we like this? I don't like gossip very much. I think it's very counterintuitive. It doesn't really add anything. And it's just, it's just pathetic. So anyways, I'm going to be talking about how a huge Twitch streamer with over a million followers cheated on his wife. So recently, streamer Diva Jilly, who has over 50,000 followers on Twitch, was exposed for cheating on her spouse. <sighs> they be cheating the streamers. I can't get away from these cheaters, bro. King Caffeine. King Caffeine being someone much smaller. Interesting. Oh, you can't see his face. Hold on. Interesting. Smaller, having around 5,000 followers, but the person that Diva actually cheated with was none other than Moon Moon. Uh oh. <gasps> someone who has over one. Hmm. Hmm million followers on Twitch. He's a pretty big deal, constantly pulling over 10, 20,000 concurrent viewers. And he was also married with a wife and a kid. But oh, okay. That's a lot. That's a lot. Infidelity is so interesting. Infidelity is so interesting. Okay. You know, I always wonder what makes people cheat and then what makes people cheat with people that are either in completely different bubbles, completely different leagues, it's always interesting. Ren, membership for 14 months as my partner wants to link to your streaming chair because he wants it. It's on uh, Ikea. I don't know how to look for it because my partner is the one who found it. But it's on Ikea and it's very comfortable. We'll go into those details a little bit later. Now, Caffeine dropped this information himself via Twitter and Reddit, where he even shared screenshots of the conversations. Ooh. And it even shows that they were still talking in DMs as recently as mm. the 23rd of September. Oh. So the point I'm trying to... Wait, I won't see that. Even shows that they were still talking in DMs as recently as the 23rd... I am now on me computer. Call lasted two hours at 1 a.m. in the morning. Wow. Of September. So the point I'm trying to make there is this was going on until super, super recently. This wasn't like a really old fling that was suddenly brought up again in the spotlight. The situation gets even stranger when you realize that Moon Moon and Diva Jilly were actually well-known GTA 5 role players, and in their role play sessions, they were actually married together. Yes. Are you guys getting this? This is so funny. Are we getting this? Humans are gonna human, right? But just think about how funny this is. So they're playing a role play game together where their characters are married, but then they're both with people outside of the games. That is, I'm sorry, a marriage is ending. It's not funny, but it's a little funny. On to be your wife. You promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and to honor her in all the days of your life. Okay. Yeah, dog. I mean, I didn't really want to ever talk about and I also just want to say that anytime I see something like this, I'm sorry to say it, but this is some neurodivergent degeneracy. There is no way these people are neurotypical. I can't even imagine a neurotypical person spending time getting in-game married. Like, girl, nobody got time for this. But maybe they do. I just don't know. I just, I never met me a neurotypical that were in-game marrying GTA. You know, that's crazy. Role playing again, especially after the my response video, but here we are. Well, to be honest, I'd pick you up. So for brief context, Moon Moon is a variety streamer, mostly known for playing Overwatch and GTA RP. And Diva Jilly is also a streamer who's also known for doing GTA RP content. This is all through a no pixel server that I think XQC owns like a stake oh, in. I own 25 and together we own the whole no pixel world. And her role play character on this server is Siobhan Thoroughbred. And her character's husband, who is Moon Moon, his character is called Maximilian Thoroughbred. It's it's very confusing, but it will make sense soon. Obviously, Siobhan is not to be confused with the actual Siobhan Roy from Succession, who is the peak definition of I am acting. I'm the eldest boy! 
And King Caffeine is a retired Heroes of the Storm esports player. And he's played with teams like Cloud9 and Team Liquid. So a day ago, Caffeine took to Twitter to share his thoughts, opinions, and loads and loads of screenshots between basically what was happening oh with him and his wife, Jilly. He starts off by sharing photos of Moon Moon and Jilly's kind of like, you know, flirty Discord conversations that also include a few times where Jilly mentions that she's ready to basically up and leave her current husband, Full Moon. Oh! I'll go read that, don't I? I'll go read that. That's where Jilly mentions that she... I don't let anyone else tell me what to do, but I listen to you. It has taken all of my willpower to just start packing my sh... Uh, so we're like on the way out. Okay, so we're like... That's what I... Okay, I had a feeling because I've only heard snippets here and there. I had a feeling... Okay, there's a lot of layers to this. Mm. She's ready to basically up and leave her current husband, mm. Full Moon. Now, I'm not one to ever judge Discord messages, especially after my response. But this is like the most millennial-esque flirting I've ever seen in my life. So, you know, it starts off with some casual flirting. Love your singing voice and the lyrics. I wanted to serenade you. You know, it's basically just millennial flirting. But see, this is... Okay, this is what I was saying. This is what I was saying. If I'm in a relationship and it's monogamous and somebody like tried to slide in and I got any inkling they were doing that, I'd have to like end friendship. But there's a there's a twist in this story and I'm sure he'll get to it. So just keep in mind, we're probably thinking this is like a monogamous situation of some kind. He's sliding into the DMs, but maybe this is also just like harmless, like sitting by an AC unit, scrolling love songs on Spotify, lol, like maybe, <laughs> maybe it's just innocent. Like at one point how he said he'll be sat by an AC unit, scrolling love songs on Spotify. And then she directly asks Moon, what are you doing? And he said, chilling with the boys. And then she instantly jumps in by saying, I literally cannot stop thinking about you destroying my... <laughs> My virgin ears, what? My Persian cats. I'm a degenerate depraved. You, you can you can imagine the rest. He also goes on to say, I pretty much been thinking about blowing my food inside of you nonstop. Oh, Same God. wavelengths. I like your frequency. I can't wait to be bred by you. I mean, I'm not even oh. allowed to make fun of this because- Oh, you know who else likes to be uh, a breeding thoroughbred, thoroughbred horse himself? My little fosh, my little fosh. My response, right? Like, like, I, like, the, the, the things I have said are disgusting, right? But, like, is this the millennials, really? Now, I'm not going to go through, like, all the conversations because it basically just gets pretty well, I think, to be fair as Ooh. well, it is basically anyone's personal 9-11 if Discord screenshots of them sexting got leaked. True. You know, there's some other conversations. I mean, sexting is cringe. It's like nobody wants their to be public okay because it's only hot between the people that are you doing it stations as well enjoy sleeping in that bed tonight without me there to make it a furnace alongside you and then they're all <laughs> i can't i i get it we're all cringe okay oh god so what about like you know getting off to whimpering and stuff she said i wish you could he have heard the whimper that just escaped my lips This is, this would be hard on anyone. I think this would be hard on all of us. And then there's an element of cheating involved, maybe, that's like so much harder to process. There's even a part where Jilly directly references uh, Nicki Minaj's song, Majesty, which also, funnily enough, features uh, HBO Euphoria's composer, Labyrinth, and also Eminem. Uh-oh, wifey's in Chicago. Millennials. Millennials are funny. They're old. Does anyone remember like Labyrinth's really, really old music? Labyrinth. I, I jammed out to that so much as a kid. Oh, it was Earthquake 12 years ago. Oh my holy old. Hold on. Hold on. Chess says I'm telling my mom not to watch the live today. Is your mom watching my show? Does your mom watch the stream? That's so good. I love when moms watch me. It's like my favorite thing. Old. That was a banger, man. Like me, when I was like, when did that come out? 12 years ago? That literally came out when I was 15. Damn. That was such a banger. You know what I love about like early 2010 music videos? Like they were so, so goofy. I mean, there's this one scene in the Labyrinth Earthquake music video where like they all just turn into speakers for some reason and then float away. It's just... <laughs> I have no idea what he's referencing. When he says Labyrinth, I just think of the movie. I have no idea what he's referencing. 
Chat says, mom's for Britney. Let's go, babe. Let's go. Now, the lyrics are a direct quote saying, my side piece, she's also got someone's wife. So time we spend is borrowed. It's our moment right here tomorrow. Ooh, 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 ooh. So we cheating. Now, we need to we need to remember the details of this, guys. Okay, we need this is very important because I heard from a gossip queen, my wife, that apparently there's a twist in this story that I don't know if it's true or not, but okay, hold on. Sending music like this that alleges that cheating is happening is different than some of the tea that is spilled this week alleges. His moments like these are to die for. And immediately after sharing those lyrics with Moon Moon, Jilly mentions how she'll be very happy to basically not feel borrowed anymore. Which, if you couldn't tell, she's basically doing anything but hinting what? that she's not happy in her current relationship with Caffeine. Now, Just because you're not happy doesn't mean you can have an affair, cheat, or do anything else, guys. Come on, break up. All these people that are like, I'm tough, I'm smart. Oh yeah, well, you were too to break up with your girlfriend, loser. Okay, or in some cases, your wife. And then it's like, who are you having an affair with? You're having an affair with a married person with a kid? With a child? There's a child involved? Jesus. How low y'all sink. How low you all sink. As much as people think like... And at the end of the day, look, we're all humans on a journey. And some of us just need like a lot of therapy. And no matter how you splice it, you know, some people just don't know how to be better. Because they weren't taught. They weren't given the tools. They have trauma. So go to therapy instead of bragging on the internet that you're reasonable or smart, because obviously not. Like, oh my God, Twitch drama, cheating, that's hilarious. You really need to look at this from Caffeine's perspective because he's been married with Jilly for 15 years. Whoa. And obviously that really, really does suck being Whoa. in a relationship so long. What did I say? The times in marriages that break up three years or three years... Three years, seven years, 14 years. If you're together after 14 years, you're more likely to make it to the end. But here we are. Isn't that interesting? Okay, for the people in chat who say your parents think my voice is annoying, think about how much better and successful I'd be if I had a nice deep voice. Everybody, welcome back to the stream. Today, we're going over cheating. And in this cheating episode, we're going to talk about Grand Theft Auto marriages. You know, what if I, what if I had a voice that wasn't so high-pitched? Okay, Brittany Freeman. <laughs> Look, I, I don't know what to do about my voice, but this is what God gave me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> just to find out that your partner wasn't being faithful at all. Apparently, he got access to her messages when he was trying to see if she was okay at TwitchCon. So that's the worst. Oh, TwitchCon just happened too. It was crazy. Kick streamers be a people bro thing he did this not out of like curiosity to see if she was loyal but like a genuine concern for her well-being he goes on to share obviously how hold on it really saddens me that it came to this after months of assuring me that it was all role play i was sold a lie that was just about sex positivity and girl bossing when in reality they were just living out their secret fantasies while being married well both being married i'm sure the rabid fan disappointed he is and says that jilly would often reassure him that everything between him and moon moon was solely for role play there wasn't any oh Oh, this reminds me so much of another streamer. They tell their partner it's fine. You're making it up in your head. Nothing is going on. Boom. 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 It's like, oh my God, you're the worst. Reassuring your partner that everything is okay and they're worried for no reason. Because we're just like in an open relationship. We're just girl bossing. We're just friends. It's all role play. We're monogamous. It's fine. And then this that's the part I don't like. It's the fact that you have the audacity to lie to your partner and say everything is fine when it's obviously not fine. You know something's going on. Now, is this gaslighting? Great question from Joe in the chat. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a therapist because it could just be a lie. I don't know if it's textbook gaslighting, but it is definitely lying and that's the problem she told him it's just in game they're not having a relationship but obviously behind closed doors they were having a relationship that's why this is so scandalous because they promised it was just in the role play and the, they were all okay with it but nope they were really having an affair and it wasn't just role play that's why it's a scandal 
anything serious there. Because obviously, like I said, Moon Moon and Jilly were married in a GTA 5 server, but that never mm -hmm. carried out into the real world from right. what she was saying. But obviously, as we found out now, it definitely did. He right. then goes on to say he was sold this lie that it was basically just about sex positivity and girl bussing, when in reality, they were basically living out their secret fantasies while both sides were married. He also goes on to share that there weren't only just DMs with Moon Moon, but apparently other guys she was Oh, she getting around round. She getting around round. Doing this with as well. Sending and receiving videos of each other. He even states that pretty much all of them were involved in the no pixel DOJ. So apparently Oof. if what Caffeine is saying is right. Yo, our girl getting passed around like a basketball during a LeBron game, bro. What the F, bro? She passing herself around. She's all like, throw me. Throw me from player to player, girl. Player to player, girl. That's crazy. Right, she was basically doing this with at least a lot of people on the No Pixel server. And apparently there might have even been like a huge meetup at TwitchCon about it. But Kathy Yo, yo, yo. None of these boys are homie enough to tell the homie. None of these boys homie enough to be like, yo, bro, your girl cheating on everybody on the team, bro. She being passed around like a fucking monster drink. Everybody's sharing like, like a cigarette everyone's taking a hit from. Okay, like what's happening right now? Like, none of these boys had the back. None of these boys were like, hey, bro. Bro. <laughs> no one's no one's loyal in this bubble, bro. Not the homies, not the wives, not the husbands. Nobody. Fiend doesn't want to show that evidence. So at the minute, we don't know who else was participating. At the minute, the only person we know is Moon Moon. By the way, if you're wondering what DOJ means, it's the Department of Justice, which is basically like a, a group within no pixel. He also shared that because at the time he was unemployed, it was apparently his job oh. to go and... Sh Since I was unemployed, she told me my job was to check other streams to give her intel on what people were doing at certain times to make sure she had the best outcome for her character. This was not fair to anyone involved and admittedly very scummy, but hey, it worked. Like during the role play? Mm. Check out other people's streams during the RP to basically make sure that her character had the best outcome, which is pretty lame since it's all role play anyway. But the fact that that actually matters and you're that concerned of your character's image is just unthinkable. So yeah, this is okay. I need you to understand hierarchies and nerd communities. Because you think like, oh, everyone just wants to be the popular cheerleader. This isn't the 90s anymore. Now we want to be the top of the guild. We want to be the D&D &D player with the most magic roles. I don't know anything about D&D, &D, but I assume there's a hierarchy, okay? We want to roll the most zeros, 20s, 10s. I don't know. I don't listen when my wife talks about D&D, &D, honestly. So, okay. So you want to be the top. And this is in their bubble. She's all like, my character got to be the best, bro. You got to do intel. You got to be snooping. Well, she was getting her moistened by somebody else he was out here doing her dirty work sir you are an simp simp but to be fair he was 15 years married and thought it was the love of his life damn the love of your life now see this is how not, this is not the love of your life girl the love of your life doesn't ditch you for a guy named moon moon that's not the that's not how that goes that's not how that goes 15 years of marriage bro 15 years that's wild. This is really insane stuff to air out on the internet, definitely. But again, at the same time, if you've been married for 15 years, mm. you can definitely feel just complete hopelessness and very, very betrayed. Now, many fans were really, really shocked about this, unsurprisingly. Considering the fact that Jilly and Caffeine were married for 15 years, first of all. I mean, I guess that could be grounds on whether you really, truly love your partner or not. And then the internet did mm. that really bizarre thing it always does when someone gets called out. They make comparisons, basically saying that their favorite streamer is the last good streamer left. Like oh, okay, so literally, my partner and I, as we because he was telling me about the story originally. We were talking about which streamer do we think would never treat on their wife? And that was really hard to figure out. I'm gonna be real. I'll be real. Uh, Monkey D. Trevi in chat says, Britt, do you think cheating can be caused due to mental illness or addiction? Of course. I mean, even my partner and I openly talk about that. But in order for that to be the case, like so many other things have to come into play. Like we're both, example, we're very healed. So in order for either of us to cheat because of mental illness or addiction, that means something very bad has happened. I'm having Alzheimer's. I'm having a psychosis trip. Like it can't just be I was depressed. Like with peace and love, depression doesn't make you cheat. Borderline doesn't make you cheat. None of these things make you cheat. 
I mean, even addiction doesn't make you cheat unless your addiction is specifically like sex related. And then maybe you do it, or maybe if you're like you, in order to you for in order for that to be the reason, it would have to you would have to then prove you were sort of insane. And to say that you were insane is important. And that's why when streamers go, Brittany, I was just insane. You don't understand. I was in, I lost my mind. Did you? For somebody who lost their mind, they sure kept a bullshit story going up for months, reassuring their partner nothing was going on. Are you sure you were insane? Or you just didn't want to get caught? Or maybe you were trying not to get caught because that was the thrill of the dopamine. Who knows? The idea is like, I don't know why people do what they do, but before you say that's the reason why, you better be get ready to be examined. Because my partner and I know, if we're about to say, oh, I cheated because of mental health, guess who's getting institutionalized? Or at least a brain scan. Do you get what I'm saying? We understand that one of us could get Alzheimer's and smear on the wall like my grandma did when she was diagnosed. Because otherwise, smearing shit on the wall is basically insane. Cheating in this relationship would be like smearing shit on the wall. Why would we do that? Unless we have lost our fucking minds. But for a lot of people, they just be smearing shit on the wall. And they're not even crazy. They're just bored. And that's the point. Am I dealing with a person who's bored? Or am I dealing with a person who's like literally having an Alzheimer's issue? Like, and I say Alzheimer's because you're literally losing your mind because we can be compassionate to people. That's why we meet people where they are. It's easier to be compassionate to a child or an older person who doesn't have like their understanding or grasp on reality. Much harder for a grown person in perfectly good health who makes these decisions. Anything is possible, but that better be the reason. And that's why it's so frustrating when men, especially men, claim they were just insane, but then body shame shame, blame women for their mental health. Oh, but when they're going through mental health, it's valid. When other people are going through it, that's why they're crazy. Just cluster bees. We're all just cluster bees. While the men get to say, I was just crazy. You don't understand. I was just crazy. I had to cheat. Of course, I was going to leave my wife. Of course, but you don't get it. I was insane. So this girl, she doing the same thing. Telling her husband, reassuring her husband at 15 years, everything is good. I love you. Well, secretly behind his back, multiple men, multiple DMs, and planning to leave? And for what? Was she being abused? Was she held captive? What was it? And also, abuse is not an excuse to cheat. If you're being abused, this is not an excuse to go around and be passed around like a basketball. With peace and love, if you're going to get passed around like a basketball, okay, you better be one of the players as well. You feel me? Like, she's not even one of the players right now. She's just like, I don't even know what she's doing. People on Twitter saying that Northern- How am I doing, by the way, heterosexuals? Am I doing the basketball analogy right? Like, am I getting it? <laughs> this is the straightest I've ever been on stream. Lion is now the last good bold streamer left. Now, when all of this dropped, Jilly has not said anything publicly and she quickly privated her account. But before that, the Redditors did a oh. reconnaissance mission, a deep dive, and they found, what only to be expected, oh. tweets of her- Oh, Dan. Jillian- you better go tell your wife you're cheating, piece of shit. I mean, I saw what the impact of my dad cheating did to my mom. If you can't be honest about not being able to be a monogamous, you shouldn't trick someone into believing otherwise. Just be honest. And if that person isn't okay with it, then find someone who is. This is cheating. Uh, okay, Poppy, so the president doesn't need to be held accountable for cheating on his wife repeatedly, paying his dirty, dirty affair off to stay quiet using campaign funds. Why are you a hypocrite? Why is it okay for men to cheat but not women, honey? Oh, she sounds lovely. Proof is usually the answer you're missing. If you had proof of the cheating, like you snapped a pic, etc. Hard to deny hard evidence. Mm. You know. Her calling out people for cheating on their partners. She even mentions how much of an impact her dad cheating on her mom impacted her mom. I mean, I saw what the impact of my dad cheating did to my mom. If you can't be honest about not being able to be monogamous, you shouldn't trick someone into believing otherwise. Just be honest, and if that person isn't okay with it, then find someone else who is. Damn, when you say all the right things and you still cheat. That is what's the most painful thing about cheating, is when you have a partner who says all of the right things and they still cheat. That feels horrible because you actually think you're with like a real one. You're like, I found a real one, bro. You know, and then boom. That's what's so painful about like, that's why I say you have to walk the walk. You gotta walk the walk, girl.
I think this really is like a tale as old as time. You do get a lot of people that kind of like, you know, put their thoughts and opinions out there trying to be like, you know, the, the, the peak of justice. And then you find out all along it's been just a, a fat dose of projecting. People even found more tweets about her basically talking down upon cheaters, including uh, tweeting a picture of Tiger Woods, Donald Trump. Both are men who have had like various rumors of like alleged affairs. Now things get really, really awkward because an old clip has resurfaced of Moon Moon addressing someone in chat talking about his wife, now his ex-wife. Uh -oh. I super love my wife and I am in a, we are in a very, very good relationship that does not require, uh, you know, my wife be like, mm, are you talking to that, that role play girl like that's the, that's the difference between you and me is that i am I, i'm trying to role play a character i have no feelings for the person on the other end of my role play characters that i have no intentions of speaking to them out of character any more than is necessary which i don't it, it, you you're you're per no 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 chat says i think people don't realize that cheating is compulsive and more akin to addiction than to like gang violence um disagree sometimes not always but if you have a compulsion towards cheating, you have a problem. Not always. There are plenty of pe people that are not impulsive about it. There are lots of people who make the decision for lots of reasons. But it, at the end of the day, whether it's impulsive or not, you better be sorry. I really think there's nuance here. There are some studies that are showing that ADHD impulsivity relates to cheating slash promiscuity. And I could see that being a case, same with addiction. If you have an impulse and it's hard for you to control that impulse, like you have to be ready to understand it. But if you're somebody who's sitting in your living room, someone slides into your DMs and it happens slowly over time. Look, Dr. Kirkonda said this recently. He said, as much as we'd like to think it's rare, cheating is very, very common. So in a world where cheating is very, very common, you are the exception if you don't cheat basically, or if you don't sleep with like a, a, a I guess a married person or a person now, I'm obviously exceptional because I've never done this. And I know my reputation would be completely ruined if I ever did because I talk such a big game about not being one of those people. But remember, I also don't think it's unique to me. I don't have any interest in it. My brain never thinks about cheating. I don't like anybody. Like, I really don't like people that much. So well, the idea of cheating sounds like, why would I cheat when I found, like, the person I love is, like, right here. Like, why would I cheat when I found the thing I've been looking for, right? So it doesn't make sense to me. Right. Especially there's so many things that play like some people are demisexual, like they're not they're less likely to cheat because they have to like have the opportunities to even like a person in the first place. So it depends if you're aloe, it depends if you're demi, it depends on what you're doing. It depends on what, how you define cheating. Some people consider watching cheating like everybody has a different idea of what cheating even looks like. That's why you have to negotiate it. That's why you have to have the shared values. The point is, and with peace and love, there obviously was something going on in this relationship where some point in her life, she wanted out of this marriage and didn't know how to break it off and decide, decided to cheat. The question is, why does she cheat instead of breaking up with this person when apparently she was telling everybody else to do the same thing? So why couldn't she practice what she preached? That's the real question. Why do people struggle to practice what they preach? Okay. And then which, is, so what is it? What was her problem? projecting what you would be doing in my situation we're not the same mother i am the goat you are a jerk off dude and a lot of people were questioning the legitimacy of moon moon and jilly's like rp like does it bleed into the real world at all and in this clip he's like really adamant like no i love my wife that has nothing to do with you i mean again this is a very old clip and situations can change but it, it's just really painful mm. to go back and watch or as well how people were speculating about his divorce and if gta rp was the reason for that now even the reddit basically clocked onto this like this was 10 days ago before this huge expose even came out i noticed that too and i'm a casual follower i remember him talking about his kid yesterday when he said that he told the delivery dude to knock hard so he can hear him i was wondering what about his wife hope he's all right i like his non-gta rp streams do you think gta rp is the reason why he got divorced dude was real comfortable with that chick which one lol Siobhan, if anything, saw him on her stream to like 8 a.m. more than once, lol. I don't care. Now, look, if you're getting some dopamine hit from going behind someone's back, you obviously have to be in a relationship to do that. And it's got to be with somebody who's probably going to get hurt over it. There are pathologies. People have reasons for doing things. And that's why I say, like, you got to go to therapy, bro. It's the it's the double down that's painful, right? It's the double down that hurts everybody. Like, I had to cheat. I was being abused. I had to cheat. I was pressured. I had to cheat. All these things. Look, I think choice is a very loaded word. 
When we say like, oh, you made a choice, I don't think most people have as much choice in their life as they think they do because they don't even know how to enact free will. If you can't control yourself when it comes to overeating, God knows you can't control yourself when it comes to So for me, I think saying choice is a loaded word, but I think obviously in some circumstances, it's more of a choice than in others. And that's why I believe in meeting people where they are. I want all of the details. I don't know if she made just a simple choice, though it sounds like there were a lot of choices that led to this, right? And I think that's more interesting. Again, you know, not to be such a conservative, but you know, when I grew up in my conservative bubble, they would say, don't put yourself in temptation's way. Don't give yourself an opportunity to be tempted to do something. So they would say, you know, men and women shouldn't be friends or you shouldn't be locked in a room with somebody that you're attracted to or, you know, all of these things. And I would say, no, like I can be in a room with somebody of the opposite sex or I'd say, wait, I can be in a room with somebody I'm attracted to and not want to have sex. Like, what is this? And what it was, was a difference of experience. When I'm in the room with somebody like If I'm attracted to them, but they're not into me, I'm no longer attracted to them. If I'm in a room with somebody of the opposite sex, I'm not thinking about having sex with them. They're just like a person to me because gender doesn't matter to me in that way. Like everyone is having a different relationship with how to keep themselves away from temptation. For some people, it's like, oh, I don't carry cash on me because I'll spend it, right? Like everybody is gonna have a different relationship with how they keep themselves disciplined. And I think that that's the conversation most people aren't having with themselves. So again, when we say like I, they made a choice, everybody makes choices, but I don't know if everyone knows when their choice is being made. But you know what is a choice? Doubling down at the end of it. To some extent, that is the choice. When you have a chance to think about it and you still can't process, like that's the part where I'm like, I don't know. So again, my, my brain doesn't know exactly why she did it, but there's something there that's fascinating to me. Yeah. Hope things are good. I enjoy the stream when I tune in, but it hasn't been often lately. Or even as well, this clip from an actual RP session where Mr. K says something that quiets down Moon Moon and Jilly. Obviously, while they were still in character. I don't listen to the opinion of single people. Get a girlfriend who doesn't dump you. That's why Murphy left your ass. I divorced him. No offense, yeah, Murphy. What to you? It was mutual. You've been passed around the what whole game, Jay. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you playing tag team over there or something? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So yeah, there's a lot of clips circulating right now that really... Are they the degens of the, like, role play bubble? Like, you know how, like, there's the degens of the panel people and then the degens of, like, are they the degens of the GTA, like, role play bubble? have not aged well. However, unlike Jilly, Moon Moon has actually responded, not too publicly, basically taking to his Discord server. He had a brief message explaining his side not too long after Caffeine made his tweets calling him out. And he also goes on to say in the messages, among other things, that the divorce is still ongoing with his current wife and he hasn't worn his ring in months. So a lot of news articles are saying that, you know... I haven't been wearing my ring for months. I mean, divorce was in fact real, lol. Peep Discord cats out of the bag. I'm posting something in Discord real quick. Please hold on, ladies, gentlemen, please, LOL. This is the reason why they split up, but he's basically saying that they've been divorced for quite a while, or at least in the process of being divorced. He also goes on to say that he didn't read... I didn't bother reading the dude's post on Twitter. Chick wasn't an open relation or open marriage. His idea, not hers. I've been separated from my wife for like two months. She's a nice lady, so be nice. Never talked to her inappropriately while did role play out of character no contract no contact except about games twitchcon was pretty sweet this part right here this was the twist in the story moon moon is alleging and this is interesting that her husband of 15 years wanted an open relationship even though she didn't he wanted it okay and while they were in the open relationship part of their relationship moon moon slid into those dms And now we get to where we are now, except note that she was talking negatively about her marriage behind closed doors. She was basically saying she was going to leave him, but didn't. I guess maybe she was mad about the relationship opening up, maybe. But then this begs the question about what was that tweet he put out about like, oh, I fell for the girl bossing. I fell for the sex positivity thing. 
Is this a case of monogamous people opening up their relationship because they want to cheat, but want to get around it, but actually want to break up, but then they start the, you know, I don't know what's happening, but that was the twist that left me confused because it sounds like we're just dealing with a very like unhealthy group of people, honestly. Oh, to be fair, his defense isn't the best, but he is going on to say that, you know, they were in an open relationship and he was in the process of being divorced. Like if anything, it's like, okay, well, it's still a bit weird, but now there's a lot more context. Mm -hmm. That is until caffeine clapped uh -oh. back on Twitter, basically saying no we were never in an open relationship <gasps> did she say we were in an open relationship <gasps> did she create a whole story we were not in an open relationship why would she talk about cheating and packing her bags that's not how it works true 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 though technically in an open relationship you can cheat so you got to keep that in mind right like if you're telling your partner no i'm not sleeping with that person but you're definitely sleeping with that person that's cheating even if you're in an open relationship, if your partner says, hey, are you sleeping with that person? Is something going on? And you're like, nope, nothing's going on. Everything's fine. I'm not sleeping with anybody. But you're actually bumping uglies with somebody. Okay, so we're not in an open relationship. Why would she talk about leaving and cheating? Okay, now we're in a messy, messy relationship. This is a messy, messy, messy relationship. Why would she talk about cheating and packing her bags? Yes, true. Chat says, and you can still want to leave your partner for someone else in an open relationship. Exactly. Exactly. That's not how things work. And then surprisingly, after the drama went down, Moon Moon actually went live very briefly oh. for around 20 minutes or so. Now, oh. I could play the stream in its entirety, and I would really like to to get the watch time up so YouTube pays me more. But to briefly summarize, he's basically just saying how he feels embarrassed that everyone saw those messages yeah. and basically summarize the fall of his marriage down to himself. Address the breeding kink allegations. Yeah, that's that's the worst part about all of this, guys. You guys see the, uh, the mid-30s flirting dude. <laughs> it's, it's so fucking embarrassing dude our our marriage failed because i just wasn't putting in the effort to like you know keep that person and she she deserves better than that there wasn't any like like cheating like, like i i didn't talk to jill at all out of character out of respect for my wife um you know except for like stuff that was happening the like the need to be relayed out of character about like role play so. Moon also goes mm. on to say that him and his wife, despite being separated, are still on good terms. You know, for example, he'll still be able to see his child. And then he mm -hmm. does also claim that he actually asked Jilly multiple times, like, you know, what's your marital status? Are you in an open relationship? And he was told multiple times that she was in an open relationship. Do you think he relied to about the open marriage thing or is the other guy on Zanny's? I asked multiple times. Is that truly the case? And she said yes. Yeah, but th okay, this is okay. This is okay. This is this is interesting. This is interesting because I hate to say it this way. I would want to ask the partner and I learned this the hard way. I did learn this the hard way in my life. Like as much as you want to trust the person you're talking to directly, you should confirm it if they're married or in a partnership with their partners because some bitches be lying. And that's the thing about humans. That's so interesting. You want to believe people wouldn't lie to you. But the thing is, if he had just asked her husband, but see, it's awkward. Like, um, yeah, I think that's the awkward part about ah, this is the whole situation so awkward because people might get defensive. Like I've had people definitely get defensive, you know, where, you know, maybe somebody is like, um, uh, I'm trying to give an example, but, uh, they're like, what do you mean? You have to talk to my partner. Can you just trust me? And it's like, I would love to trust you. But this is a pretty serious topic, so I kind of need to confirm it with your partners. And it sounds offensive. They're like, what the f is wrong? What are you trying to accuse me of? People get defensive. Anytime you bring up someone to someone and you're like, hey, I'm afraid you might be a cheater or a bad person. Or maybe you like people who are Tana Mojo aged, you know, like Cody did. And it's like people get really, really defensive. But that also looks kind of like they're guilty. So then you're like, I knew it. But then you don't have the proof. And maybe they're just offended because they're like, how could you ever think I'd be this kind of person? It's like, I don't know. Everyone could be all kinds of things, but also I can see why your feelings are hurt. It sucks to see, to feel like in a world, you live in a world where people can't see you, but see, what is he supposed to do? Yeah, I, I honestly wouldn't take the risk. This is why I say to people, I'm in a very monogamous relationship. And if you know that, and you're my quote friend, and you still flirt with me, like in a very serious way, like if I had one of my friends come in and my partner just talked about this with me, we were, la we were having so much, like we were laughing because I was like, I would be so offended if one of my friends slid into my DMs and was like, hey, Britt, I know you say you're happy and all that, but like, if you're ever not happy, hit me up. I'd be like, 
block, 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 block. Like I would block that bitch. Like what? Don't come into people's marriages and relationships. Now in his situation, it's more like, hey, Britt, uh, interested in you. Like, are you guys in an open relationship? It's like, oh, no, we're not. Um, thanks for your interest. We're not in an open relationship. It's like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. But in his situation was, oh, we're in a open relationship. Like she literally said to him. So she lied to her husband. She lied to Moon Moon. So I'm seeing a common denominator here, ladies. And it's a lady. So then I believe her. The particulars of their relationship is is barely even my concern. Mm. It's not my business. So in conclusion, uh, this is a really messy situation. And I think that's Damn. the reason why like a lot of content creators aren't talking about it. I definitely do know one mm. thing for a fact. Out of all the people involved in this story, Moon is going to get the most amount of hate solely because he's the biggest content creator. Okay, first of all, hold on. Chat's cracking me up. Chad goes, what if it was your inner circle, Brit? Okay, for the record, I feel like I'm siblings and related to everybody in my inner circle. So um, that would be gross. Everybody in my inner circle is family. I mean, three of them are not blood related to me, but they're family. So I would be really weirded out. <laughs> I'd be like, what the f*** is happening? <laughs> I'd be like, pourquoi, ma'am? What is happening? To be fair, though, to be fair, w to be fair, one of the girls in my inner circle, when I first met her, I did hit on her, but she's straight. And now she's like my sister. So I would never. That'd be, that would be a wild story, guys. Okay. But okay. Even if I, if, especially if it was inner circle, though, that would be crazy. So let's say one of my non-related inner circle was like, hey, Britt, I know we're like siblings, but if you ever want to be like, those Kentucky cousins, let me know. I'd be like, um, see, I'd be like, we need to go get you checked. Alzheimer's. We need to go get you. Did you forget our relationship for 20 years? Like, excuse me, will we go check our brains, you know? Okay, Moon Moon has a million followers. He's not a small streamer, bros. That doesn't mean I'm defending him at all in any way, but that is usually the way it goes. People that have a bigger audience, a lot of that audience will fall out with you, so you have a bigger hate following afterwards. Meanwhile, people like Jilly will have a huge influx of hate, but because she has no dedicated fan base, that hate will quickly kind of dissipate and people won't really care. That's why she's taking these steps at the minute to private her account, basically waiting for all of the heat to die down. I think, if anything, you've just got to express sympathies to Caffeine because, again, he's been married to someone for 15. Well, okay, so hold on. Chad says, I feel like this woman is going to get most of the hate from it, especially because she's the smaller creator. I mean, she's going to get most of the hate from it because she's a woman. So misogyny is going to play a role in this. But gender aside, she's the only one in the situation who was doing something wrong, technically, that we know of. So regardless of her gender, she's the only one in the trio who allegedly is being exposed for doing something wrong, right? So that's the dilemma we're running into. Both of the men seem totally clueless about the situation. She's the one orchestrating it between. So she's going to get, she would get the heat regardless because she's a woman and these are boy spaces, but mostly she's also the only one doing something wrong in this situation. I hope she gets a good therapist and I would not want anything bad to happen to this woman. I hope she has a support system, obviously not the men in her life because she just both of them over royally. So I hope she has a mom, a sister, a therapist, a priest. Like she's got a, this is going to be a lot to take from, a, since he's so big, Moon Moon, since Moon Moon is such a big content creator. So she's going to have to find that support system from somebody, right? Just because she cheated doesn't mean she deserves to be bullied, right? You don't need to bully a cheater. You need to make distance between you and them and they need to go to therapy, right? years he's saying himself unless he's lying which i find it very hard to believe that they were never in an open relationship at any point so the best outcome i can really think of here is that moon was going through the process of a divorce he basically thought it was okay to speak mm -hmm. to other women during going through that divorce which mm -hmm. is you know it's just one of those kind of gray area things but then the and, the, and this is the best case scenario by the way jilly actively lied to Moon multiple times that they were in an open relationship when they actually weren't. Mm -hmm. And if you go through Moon's stream, he really doesn't seem to be distraught, if anything. Like, he doesn't really seem to care. And mm -hmm. if you're like anyone that watches 10 seconds into a JCS criminal psychology video, you might see that people that think they're innocent or are innocent. Oh, Chad says, honestly, I feel like Moon knew um, that she was lying but decided to dismiss it. You think? Do you think he had an inkling? 
person. They tend to almost be more kind of like outwardly aggressive about it. You know, they're not kind of like meek or, you know, somber. They're annoyed because they're called out for something that they genuinely believe that they aren't in the wrong for. Again, that's just my Reddit silver talking. That does not mm. mean anything. I'm not going to do like a, a language body analysis breakdown. Oh, he's looking to the left. He's analyzing. Oh, he's looking to the top right. That means he's lying. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Jilly next. You know what I hate about body experts? It's such bullshit because they'll say like, oh, when people look up, that's because they're thinking of a lie um, or we're just neurodivergent and we literally are thinking our thoughts, you assholes. Like, that's the problem is like, I always look away like that's I'm the I'm the um, I'm the per even on stream. I have to like look away because everything distracts me. And then when people are talking to me, I'm like. And then I have to remind myself that I'm like looking too intently at them. Like my sibling and I were laughing about how like people have told us like, oh my God, you're looking so like deeply into my eyes right now. I'm like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I forgot. I don't know where to look. Like I'm just like very good at making eye contact when people are talking. But when I talk, I have to like, I look everywhere but the person. You know what I mean? Anyways, the body language experts are not experts in anything but their own fucking ass and barely even that. I mean, will she pull a Cody Co and kind of just take a oh. dip from the internet for a while? I do want to say, by the way, as well, the severity of those. Are they full time content creators? Like, is she making money from this? Two situations are completely different and they are not equal to each other in any way. It's more just I'm trying to make the example of another big content creator when they get, you know, allegations against them. Uh, they tend to leave the internet for a prolonged period of time. But yeah, overall, like, I didn't know any of these people really until covering this drama. It's interesting because I've had men in my life who will be with married women and they'll be like, oh, they're not in that marriage anymore. I'm like, how do you know that? And they're like, oh, like, they're definitely like separated. How do you know that? Oh, well, she said he's an asshole. How do you know that? How do you know she's not lying? And they're like, well, I trust her. I know. But how do you know? You know, I had this realization where now I go back and review conversations in my head of people that I knew who were like, I was in an abusive relationship, so I had to cheat. And I'm like, I think that's bullshit, but okay. But now that I think about it, I'm like, what if that wasn't true? Like, what if, what if? That wasn't true. Like, what if they were never in an abusive relationship, but they needed an excuse? You know, I don't know because I never talked to the other person. So, like, how do we know who's who's telling the right? And who knows when I'm telling a story, if I'm telling the truth? It's hard to know who's telling the truth. It's really hard. But now I'm like, oh, shit. like, how many people do I just trust? So what I do, I trust everybody as far as I can throw them. And I'm very weak as much as I work out and I can't throw any of you. So I trust people based off of what their actions tell me. Actions speak louder than words. And so that's what I kind of go off of. But yeah, it's it's kind of difficult to know like, wait, are you lying? And then they lie, but they don't. Oh, there's so much. There's so much in this. But I think that's why as I get older, I'm just like, you know, I'm good. I'm going to stick with the people that I love and just like buy my business because, oh, my God, I'm trying to figure out like who is lying is so exhausting you know watch this content i think i watched him when he was playing the funny monkey dark souls game a, a little bit and it's really obvious that the guy is incredibly popular on twitch like anytime mm. i see him similar to lyric he's getting like you know upwards mm. of 20 30 000 concurrent Damn. viewers Damn. you know when i stream on youtube and i get over 10 000 viewers that's like oh my god like that's life-changing but for those guys that's like a bad day for them mm. so yeah overall i think the only person that should really get any attention right now is caffeine i think like witch hunting jilly or moon is not the right strat right. I, I, I just feel really bad for caffeine because obviously he's been married for 15 years and then th mm. this happens like like it sucks truly the cheating situation is crazy slash insane damn that's rough bro let's read these comments okay 15 years man no matter how long or how much you've invested in a relationship nobody is safe from cheating and honestly i can see why some people would prefer to be single in fear of that sucks man i would say anything you do out of fear is probably the wrong decision so if you never get married because you're afraid you should probably go to therapy if you get married but then like that's the thing you have to be ready for anything that life throws out you but if you're always constantly afraid you're never going to really live your life you have to trust the process and accept that things will happen out of your control it's not in my control whether or not my partner cheats and you know what's funny i've only been told by people who have cheated like well maybe you're the reason your partner cheated or maybe you're the reason a partner cheats nobody can force you to cheat bro just like you're not the reason your partner stabbed you or raped you come on you're not the reason people make decisions people make decisions with you in mind but they ultimately have to make their own decisions like people have to make choices right like you're not responsible 
you know, unless you're sitting here and like Machiavellian, like torturing people in the most cunning, sly way possible. Like, I, you know what I mean? With regular people where cheating occurs, a person makes a decision they think is within reason. The reason might be bad, but they've justified it in their own heads. And ultimately, what you're looking for is somebody with strong character who, when the opportunity presents itself to cheat, doesn't give in to the temptation. It happens. People do it. But you learn from it and don't do it again. Right? And at the end of the day, that person can choose to trust you in that process of healing or not. But at the end of the day, like, human beings are messy and they're animals and things get crazy. But you can't point fingers and blame everybody else for your decisions. But what you can do is learn why you made it in the first place and say, Fuck, I was really f***ed up. I really thought I was bigger than this. I thought I was better than this. I thought I was stronger than this. But when p sat on my lap, I gave in. That f***ing sucks. Here I was thinking I was a dude who like would never do that. But damn, I really did, didn't I? That's what you're looking for. You're looking for someone who's like, I thought I was stronger than this. I guess not. Instead of, well, she made me feel this way and she wouldn't let me anybody and she would with them in it. It sounds like a perfect storm, actually. Girl in 15-year-old marriage wants out, doesn't know how to get out, finds new guy she finds more attractive. Guy's leaving his marriage, sees if she's available. She says she is even if she isn't. So maybe it was like a perfect storm. Guy of 15 years, think they're in a good marriage and everything's great and finds out they're not. So she's the only one who was unhappy enough to lie, I guess, because Moon Moon was already unhappy enough in his marriage, which is crazy, by the way, to say out loud, the person I had a kid with, I just didn't put enough effort into the relationship. So now we're getting divorced and I'm flirting with my coworker. Could you imagine saying like, that's what I'm saying when I say like people don't find the love of their life. Like something's going on. Like you're telling, so then you settled in a relationship. Like, what do you mean you didn't put enough effort into your relationship? You made a whole ass other human being and put it into the universe and you can't work on your relationship but you can start a new one with a coworker? I don't know. It happens though. Once people like check out of a relationship, it's hard to check back in. Yeah, ah, oh, good point. Kay says, I mean, Moon Moon streams like 15 hours a day. Of course, he didn't have time to put towards his wife. Finds a woman already in a relationship. He doesn't need to be full-time committed and can focus on gaming. Oh, one of those streamer degens. Okay, so streamer degen who's working 15 hours a day and doesn't prioritize his family. Wow, divorced. Isn't that what every, how many married streamers got to get divorced because they work 15 hours a day, bro? That's what I'm saying. It's so interesting what people are willing to do. It's interesting what people are willing to prioritize. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Chat says her being married was convenient. Sounds like it. Sounds like it. Oh, so mm, that adds a layer to it. Damn. <sighs> okay. Degens after all. Degens. And then, of course, her husband, who sounded like he wasn't even happy in the relationship, bro. Or maybe he thought he was happy. Yeah. Therapy people and values. Guys, everyone runs the risk of having or being a bad partner if you prioritize work over your relationships and your families. Like, ultimately, your kid's not going to remember you paying for their school. They're going to remember you showing up to dinner every night or tucking them into bed or being at their football games. You know what I mean? Like, we're not, like, kids, you know, maybe all, you know, there's a lot of kids on the planet, but most of them, they're going to remember the parents who were there more than the parents who were too busy with work. I mean, that's the whole premise of the beginning of the movie Hook with Robin Williams, right? So busy working, he misses all his kids' baseball games. So his kid falls into the clutches of Hook, who's there for him, who's there for Jack. And Jack's like, maybe Hook loves me more than my dad because my dad's too busy working. But then, of course, you might think like, oh, but he's working and he's your dad and he's providing things for you. Everything but time spent. Everything but time spent together. You got to spend time with your people, bros. And you got to do it in a way that makes sense for everybody. So funny how people want to have kids and don't want to spend any time with them. Funny how much you guys want to lock down partners and not spend any time with them. Crazy, bro. What a crazy decision to make. So why's my life a mess? Please
please tell me Cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Then 